new wave of designers is taking everyday wear from the street and turning it into cutting edge fashion. Our newest Sunday morning contributor, Califasane of The New Yorker, shows us how it's done. Oh, yes. There's something strange happening to high fashion. It's moving a bit closer to street level. When Karine Reutfeld, former editor of Vogue Paris, launched her new perfume, she made a scene by signing T-shirts designed by Kanye West. You're known for hating sweatpants so much that you wouldn't let your kids wear sweatpants to school. Sure. You, you, you once said the problem with the way American women dress is that they look a bit too comfortable. And now you're Not selling too. printed T-shirts. What's yeah. happened? But you know, ne never say never. Never say never, because designers all over the world are scrambling to keep up with teenagers here. So there's been this global rise of streetwear, right? Yeah. This American style. Did it, did it surprise you that it got as big as it did? Fashion is interesting in young people. This is the look of the young people. So streetwear is for young people. Streetwear. It's a style popularized through hip hop, skateboarding, and social media. It tends to be casual very casual. Baggy t-shirts and hoodies, lots of bold graphics and logos. It represents the streets, it represents having fun, it represents a specific energy, I think in music and fashion, which is remixing words, remixing culture, remixing brands, and coming up with our own language. Heron Preston is a streetwear designer. He first got attention for creating a limited edition knockoff of this $500 t-shirt from Givenchy. Preston's became a cult favorite. Is that what you loved about that T-shirt, the fact that it was so obviously bootleg? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't trying to create an identical version of it. I wanted to actually make a statement of taking something that was super pop culture and flipping it on its head and giving people what they were never supposed to have. In those days, he was using Instagram as his personal online boutique. I was just kind of, you know, posting the photo and waiting for people to hit me up. Hey, can I buy that? The fashion industry saw a business opportunity, so it brought the street in. We now live in a world where billionaires sport hoodies and Fortune 500 executives dress like rap stars. The menswear designer of the year is Supreme. Last year, the streetwear company Supreme took home one of fashion's top honors. And now, it's collaborating with French designer Jean-Paul Gaultier. One of the style's biggest names, Virgil Abloh, was recently named an artistic director at Louis Vuitton. And last week, Preston showed off his new collection in France. Is streetwear still streetwear if it's on a runway in Paris? Yeah, I mean, it's still streetwear. The story is kind of changing a bit. It's the sort of zenith of comfy, casual clothes, but it has a kind of designer imprimatur that makes it more interesting or valuable in the eyes of the wearer. Lynn Yeager has been chronicling the industry since the 1980s, first at the Village Voice and now at Vogue. The New York Times called you a fashion muse. Totally fashion muse. <laughs> yeah, okay. But when did you realize that people in the world of fashion were actually looking at you just as much as you were looking at them? I think with the rise of the kind of street style icons and all the, the rise of the internet and all the photographers outside the shows. Well, this is adorable. <laughs> she I says streetwear may not be her that. style, I mean, but she likes the effect it has. Adorable. I was talking to a salesman one time in a really fancy jewelry store, and the salesman was telling me that you have to be super nice to everybody because the richest person looks the worst. I think streetwear kind of leveled the playing field a little bit. Not only leveled the playing field, it's also opened doors, especially for African Americans. One thing that's changed a lot in the world of fashion is an increasing focus on diversity. Do you think that's played a big role in the way fashion has evolved? I think that's a reflection of a more inclusive society. It's sort of a fashion equivalent of people demanding their rights, demanding to be seen, demanding to be heard. Is there a divide in the fashion world between people that kind of come out of streetwear and people that don't? Yeah, I think there has always been a divide. 
Um, I don't think that people in fashion have recognized streetwear as, as fashion. But I think, you know, since the youth, I think, are embracing all of these different ideas and all of these different brands from high to low, you know, that is becoming the conversation. And I don't think that you can really ignore it anymore. Proof? Um, for this Preston's season, brand uh, is sold at fancy stores like Saks Fifth Avenue where one of his hoodies goes for more than $500. And that's inspiring the next generation of streetwear designers. Has that logo been bootlegged? Oh, yeah. Is that how you knew you'd made it when you saw kids wearing your stuff that didn't look quite right? <laughs> that's what they say. That's what they say. <laughs> and to Heron Preston, success is about more than just money. Having pushed streetwear where we come from, to the level of, of luxury fashion, I think just shows you how powerful our culture is.